Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be walking you through how I refinished this old rundown shelf that I got from Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. I was originally going to flip it, but at the very end of it all, I decided to give it to one of my good friends, Stephanie. So Stephanie, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Hope you're still enjoying the shelf. And without further ado, let's get into it. So when I picked up this shelf from Facebook, I did not see that it had a big chunk of it taken out of the bottom right or left hand corner of it. it looked like a dog bit the corner of it and I did not see that until I got it home which you'll see it here in the video shortly but that was going to be a major issue. I've never dealt with something like this before so it was definitely going to be a challenge. So I started out by sanding the whole shelf down with 180 grit and then I worked my way to uh, a 320 finish. And I just wanted to scuff up all of the wood and get it ready for paint. And then I ended up taking a cutoff wheel where that corner needed to be worked on. My original plan here was to take a piece of wood and then just kind of slide it into a little slit that I created with the cutoff wheel tool. And then after I got the little piece of wood inside that slit, I kind of hammered it in lightly. And then I took the shelf inside where it was warm because I was doing this during the middle of winter. Took it inside while it was warm and I applied some wood filler to it. As you can see, this is the first coat of wood filler. It is kind of difficult to work with. The whole idea here was to just put a nice little light coat on it. Looking back, I'm not sure. I probably would have done a little bit lighter of a first coat because I did put a lot of material on it. The more material you put on it, the longer it takes to dry. And wood filler is kind of difficult to work with. So if I were to redo it over again, I would have done a lighter first coat. What you're looking at right here is probably a third coat, maybe even a fourth coat. And here I am taking it back down to the basement because I guess I took it out in the garage to sand it down. I'm not sure how many fillers I did, how many coats I believe. I probably did five or six. I know it wasn't perfect at the very end of it, but I got it to as best as I could. The wood filler, again, like I said, is kind of hard to work with sometimes. Here I am applying my first coat of paint. I'm using a paint called Beyond Paint. It's a primer, sealer, and paint all in one. They don't require you to sand down your pieces, although I like to do that for just kind of a peace of mind sort of thing. And I absolutely love this color that I'm putting on the shelf. I put this on a ton of other pieces. As you can see in the background right here, I did put it on that desk. And then I did use that same sealer that I put on that desk that I, put, that I am putting on the shelf. You'll see here in a second. And then what I did use to clean the piece before I started painting was a solution, a wood cleaner solution. I'll display that here on screen. To wrap things up here, I applied four coats of Beyond Paint using a roller onto the shelf. And then I used a sealer. I'll display here on screen exactly what I used. And I used a little foam pad to dab and brush it onto the inside of the shelf. Kind of give it that old distressed look to it and here is the finished product let me know how i did down below in the comments if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to share with the community please drop a comment down below thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and check out my other videos and my past projects that i have done Thanks a lot. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.
Don't leave me high and dry 